Welcome back, everyone. It's the Bourbon Judge. We are back at it with the potentially the most anticipated release of 2023. Yes, 13th Colony Double Oaked Bourbon. All right, but hey, before we uh, dive into 13th Colony, huge shout out to my newest patron, my good friend, John. John, thanks for uh, joining the uh, the Bourbon Judge family. Welcome, we always have a blast. I appreciate all the, uh, all the support from you, my friend, as well as all the support from all my other patrons, our patron meetups, our happy hours. Um, a lot of my patrons join me on our barrel picks, so we always have a blast, as well as the score too, so welcome, John. Um, next thing I need to say, so, the judge is a little tardy. <laughs> so I crossed over episode 400 a couple episodes ago. I forgot. You guys know how it is. Sometimes it's just busy. You know, that one kind of escaped me. So that, that's on me. Um, but I do want to say thank you for everyone who's been with me from the beginning. And even if you joined recently, thank you as well. I, I truly do appreciate it. Wow, 400 episodes. That's a long time. Damn. <laughs> and don't worry, when we get to 15,000 subscribers, we're going to have a fun live stream, some uh, whole bunch of different, you know, prizes, whiskey and flights and all that kind of good stuff. Cool? All right. Awesome. So, 13th Colony. So, let's kind of, let's take a step back real quick. If you go back maybe like 12, 18 months ago, most people, unless you lived in Georgia or maybe some of the neighboring states, probably didn't even know who 13th Colony is. Now, if you're in the whiskey world, everyone knows who 13th Colony dist uh, Distillery is. While they are a craft distillery based down in America's Georgia, I think everyone in the US and maybe all over the world knows about 13th Colony Distillery. So, you know, number one, um, I've reviewed their stuff on the channel before, their bourbon, their rye, their double oak from last year, which the double oak is, oh gosh, it's like, it can leave you speechless. It truly can. But even their small batch bourbon, their small batch rye, great quality products, very affordable, $35 for their small batch products. So this is the second release of their uh, double oaks. The last one again from last year was amazing. It's so amazing that even on Sealbox, when it came out, number one, it sold out in seconds. And I mean seconds. Mrs. Judge, who prides herself on shopping, even she uh, was uh, unsuccessful that day. However, I will say a lot of my patrons, which I was very happy, a lot of my patrons got bottles, so they were lucky enough they were able to click click through and everything and get some bottles on uh, sale box, which is awesome. But um, unfortunately for the judge, no can do. <laughs> no luck, it was not a thumbs up, it was a thumbs down. But I am very fortunate that uh, 13th Colony was kind enough, they sent me a sample, so ready to review this. Their 2023 release of their double oaked whiskey. Ready? All right, I had to pour this bad boy. So everyone knows when you think about 13th Colony, again, based in Georgia, and the Georgia heat, I think is probably the key difference for uh, their whiskey. The Georgia heat, it does something unique where it just really creates like that, just it pulls a lot of um, various different like notes from the barrel, a lot more than like, let's say whiskey from like Kentucky or anywhere honestly in the North. Maybe the only thing that's slightly, maybe even similar, potentially could be uh, Texas whiskey, right? Could be, right? In that way because of the heat in Texas, but the Georgia heat is slightly different. So let's dive into this a little bit. So again, 13th Colony, thank you very much for sending me this sample, really do appreciate it. So these are the facts. Uh, when it was on Sealbox, it was 200 bucks. It's a little bit expensive, but it is, I will say, it's aged 10 years. Comes in at exactly 136.8 proof. So we're talking about a double oak bourbon, aged 10 years at 136.8 proof. Obviously, that's cast strength. <laughs> um, so produce, wow. Produce 3,216 bottles. And the allocation other than seal box, which again, we, as we talked about earlier, which sold out like, I'm talking like, it, it must have been like half a second. Other than online, it sold in Georgia, Arkansas, Tennessee, and Texas. Um, so if anyone's ever watched, uh, or you get the newsletter from uh, 13th Colony, they always say, hey, make sure you're telling your local retailers about 13th Colony and that you want our products in your market. You can guarantee 13th Colony, I've asked every one of my local retailers, please start ordering 13th Colony. <laughs> All right. Woo, 
man. 136.8 proof. Oh, gosh. H10 years. So much hype that went into this bottle. So much hype. So what am I getting on the nose? So the one thing which I love, I love this about this nose. It's such a great combination of like chocolate meets leather meets oak. It's so chocolate forward. Tons of uh, leather, tons of oak. And like it almost has like a, um, almost like in the background, like a crystallized, almost think of like a, um, like a darker plum kind of a note darker plum with like some maple syrup it's so deep it's so rich it's just it's different it's completely different oh my gosh while the availability is definitely limited because it's only in a few states and as we said online it sold out in a matter of seconds because this is a truly a once a year release right and it's a once a year release all right friends i think i'm ready to go in you guys ready to go in? I am. <laughs> All right, real quick. Three quick easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. Let me know what are your thoughts on 13th Colony as a whole. And last but not least, please make sure you subscribe to the channel and also hit the bell so you get a notification each and every time I release new content. All right, as we say in this courtroom, cheers. Oh, oh, <laughs> okay, okay, wow, yeah, wow, wow is, yep, that's an understatement, oh my gosh, actually, oh, goodness gracious, let me get a little bit more, mm. wow, this is such, this is truly a just, I mean, deep, rich brown sugar, leather, oak, caramel, and that little bit of like that plum note, that note is still there, even in the palate. Obviously at 136.8 proof, I, this, is a, this is a beast. It's bold, it's vibrant, and the palate and the finish goes on for days. I mean, I'm still feeling it going down right now. <laughs> this goes on for days. And all that leather as well that I had in the nose that also transfers to the palate as well. It's such a rich and unique bourbon. I can honestly say there is truly nothing like this bottle on the market from no one. No Texas distillery, not honestly, not even any other Georgia based distilleries as well. Not that I know of at least that I've had like this. Folks, you guys know me, I'm always gonna give an honest judgment. Two things, A, is it a buy, and B, is it really worth $200? $200 bucks is a lot of money. The verdict is in. This, my friends, is a definite buy. Every day and twice on Tuesdays. <laughs> and in terms of is it worth $200? It's three gavel good. I rarely ever give out three gavel good. Maybe once a year, maybe twice. But if this is getting three gavel good, it just goes to show. It is just on that level. Two things I want to say, though, very important. Number one, because it's so highly allocated, I know a lot of people are probably wondering, well, Judge, I can't find it. I completely understand and agree. Something that I do myself, in this case, because once this other ounce is gone, I'll have to do it myself also. Go to a really good bourbon bar. Make sure you grab a pour of this, right? You'll have the same experience just one time, but at least you can have the same experience. So go to a really good bourbon bar. Any truly good bourbon bar should have this, you know, um, available. Second thing is, I'm gonna give a little bit of a head, heads up for my good friends over at 13th Colony. What I would love, while everyone here loves the 13th Colony cast strength, even if you came out with a small batch lower proof version of 13th colony uh double oak how about like 110 proof more to the masses and it would make everyone including myself happy while i love 136.8 proof if everyone could have a little bit more i would be even that much happier hey friends until the next time peace cheers and as we say most important salute take care